Today I want to cover some of the basics about the Hab Bounder. It comes shipped in its foam enclosure that you can fly it with to help protect it thermally. We'll remove it from that. The burn wires are on the bottom side of it. External trigger. There's a power on button on the end. And there's a cover that you can slide off um, to protect the batteries and provide a little bit of radiative thermal um, um, insulation. So we're going to go ahead and put in the batteries. Uh, be careful with the SD card uh, slot down there. It's pretty easy to bend those pins as you're doing this with this one battery. Um, as a demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and remove the SD card. And we're going to power on the bounder. So we push the switch at the end for about three seconds. Light comes on, goes off, and then it starts. And immediately, to turn that off, we remove one of the batteries. It immediately went into its error mode. It's a high-pitched two-tone um, beep and the LED which I think you can see um, in the video is nearly on continuously flashing um, in sync with that uh, beeping. So let's go ahead and put the battery back in and we'll put the SD card in and we'll actually power on the bounder. So we hold the button again for about three seconds. Now it's going into its wait for GPS sequence. It sits here and beeps twice every two seconds and the LED is mostly off except for while it's beeping. It takes anywhere between 30 seconds and 15 minutes depending on sky coverage for it to acquire GPS signal. Unfortunately there, it needs time to acquire the ephemeris and almanac data from the GPS constellation which is a very lengthy process. That in itself requires about 12 minutes to receive the full message if it's just talking to one satellite. Modern receivers can speed this up if they can see multiple satellites. That's how Ublox gets it down to about 30 seconds. At this point, the Hab Bounder has um, acquired GPS fix. It's flashing now. It's technically a 4 hertz flash, although depending on the settings, usually you'll see it more as a um, a very brief and slightly irregular 2 hertz flash. Um, two of the four uh, um, operations per second are, are so short that it, it's hard to see. When acquiring GPS signal it's usually best to orient the uh, bounder either facing this way or this way. Um, the GPS antenna is on the opposite side from the SD card so the worst possible way to put it is with the card facing up. You can also place it this way where the GPS antenna is facing up, but on the end there's no ambiguity on what the best orientation is.